Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you, and today I got a big surprise for you, so make sure to hit that like button, and as always guys, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on notifications to the channel, that way you get the most up-to-date videos when they're uploaded. So I hope you guys have been liking the recent uploaded videos, guys. As always, let's get into today's video. So guys, I'm going to build up the suspense a little bit as to why this video came about, so let me show you real quick. This is my new HPA compressor. It is a clone of the Hotson Spark from what I was told. You can get this off of Amazon for around $300. It comes with uh, an inverter so you can convert it. It's 12 volt to 115 to 230. And you can plug it in your regular wall socket here in the United States or hook it up to you know, your car battery to fill up your air gun out on the go in the field. So, again, building up the suspense, there's a reason why I had to buy this because, as all you, you may know, if you watch my past videos, I hand pump my guns, and there was no way that I was going to hand pump what I'm about to show you guys. So, check this out. So, here it is the Benjamin Bulldog, guys. Big bore, 357, side cocking, five shot magazine. Shot some JSBs through it already. Just got this in a couple days ago. Awesome air gun. And again, there's a reason why I had to buy the pump for this, the compressor, because I was not going to hand pump this air gun that's 3,000 PSI with over 340 cc's air capacity. That is insane. And you get about, you know, 10 good shots or so. I chronographed this, got some accuracy. And even uh, was able to take a squirrel out with it on the side shot with this. So, first impressions of this. This thing is awesome for what it is. Um, JSBs I ordered with it were the 81 grain, 35 caliber dome pellets. This gun is shooting those at around 950 feet per second, over 150 foot-pounds on average of five shots that is amazing 150 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle and at 50 yards this thing shot three pellets almost in the same hole uh, standing with the side shot on this rifle that is insane uh, big bore PCP shooting that accurately and it's getting better and better the more I shoot it um, so I was even able to take a squirrel with it let me show you that clip now that squirrel did not even know what hitting it it hit him so hard he just fell right off a tree like nothing it, that was crazy but I definitely wanted to share this with you guys and I thought this was amazing just to go ahead and get something different and try a big bore like everybody's been asking me to in recent years since I started posting a lot more air gun stuff and I could definitely say guys this thing has some power and some punch and for being a a bullpup style rifle and I topped it off with the center point spectrum first focal plane scope that they had on sale on their website on Crossman's website. This is the 3 to 9 by 40 with the side focus and everything. This is perfect for setup, guys, for hunting purposes, pesting, gosh. And come to find out, it's really not that loud. Um, it's no louder than an unmoderated, uh, you know, 22 caliber PCP, in my opinion. Um, it still has some bark, so it definitely is not backyard friendly for most, but for where I live at, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't have the sound or recoil of like a center fire rifle. It's more of like a rim fire, and it's right there in the rim fire range of power. And it definitely puts a thud down range. Uh, definitely hitting some steel, put some dents in steel at 50 yards, which I chronographed. And it's going about uh, floating around 750 feet per second at 
50 yards, which off the top of my head, I think that's over 100 foot-pounds still of energy at 50 yards. So guys, you'll definitely be seeing more of this to come in the channel, but I'm glad I ended up uh, literally getting one in. And I got this from Sportsman's Guide, by the way, if you're wondering. This is just a basic model. Um, it was like $629.99 on their website on sportsmansguide.com. Um, so yeah, I definitely uh, thought that this would be an awesome thing to show off and get for the channel. And as you can see, it's got sling studs here and here. Um, got a nice long uh, shouldering position, butt pads right there. So it, it's, it fits perfect in my shoulder, guys. I'm definitely happy and glad I got it. And one of the cool features I think I like about it, not only is it side uh, lever cocking, it's got a dual stage trigger, but it's not adjustable, but the trigger is nice, out of the box, no joke. Um, got your quick disconnect fitting here. It comes with a cover that I'd have off so I could fill it up when I'm shooting. Just your standard flip safety and the trigger guard. Forwards, fire, reverse, closer to the trigger is safe. But other than that, you get the full length Picatinny system all the way down the barrel shroud. It's got a 28 inch barrel which can be uh, used for pellets, bullets, or even arrows, believe it or not, which I thought that was very interesting. So you might definitely see that in the future. So yeah, I definitely had to get an air compressor, guys, for this because there was no way that I was going to be hand pumping this, the 3,000 PSI, and at 340 cc's of volume. Uh, that's, that's insane. And I'm only getting, again, like a good 10 shots out of it, but I only shoot about 5 because that's the magazine capacity. And the awesome thing is about this magazine, believe it or not, this gun doesn't even throw flyers because of the magazine design. And that's, to me, one of the best features because on regular standard air guns, the magazine gets chewed up or chews up the pellets as they're being cycled in the magazine so that's what I thought was a great feature of this air gun versus many others and again it shoots very accurate I mean I was getting uh, around 0.6 inch group guys 0.6 inches just a hair over a half an inch at 50 yards standing through the scope side shot scope cam that is amazing so as always guys I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and definitely some fun videos to come with a big bore PCP as many of you have asked throughout the years and keep telling me to try to get one and see what I can do about getting one. So again, thanks everybody for watching and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next video.